Hello everyone and welcome back to Flo's Corner. So in this video, we are going to be discussing arterial blood draws, AKA ABGs. So please stay tuned. So one of the main things about the arterial blood draws that a lot of newly phlebotomists or people who are looking into going into phlebotomy or just got their certification and everything like that is do phlebotomists draw from the arteries? I know all of you all have been asking about do we draw from arteries when we are a phlebotomist? Is this something that you're going to see in your scope of practice when you are uh, finally getting your certification and finally practicing venipuncture and being a phlebotomist? This is definitely one of the questions that comes up a whole lot and here we are going to discuss everything so quick anatomy one-on-one -on -one, you guys all know i always discuss about the circulatory system the cardiovascular system that you normally learned in high school or if you learned in college and all the fun things you guys all know that veins bring blood back to the heart and arteries bring bring blood away takes blood away from the heart so these two go hand in hand when it comes to our production of the way our blood is flowing into and out of our heart and things like that so they are very important parts of our bodies so the first thing i want to get into is that when you are deciding to become a phlebotomist most of the time you already have the mindset that phlebotomists deal with veins blood draws any type of specimen collection when it comes to blood normally is through veins. There is no doubt that that is exactly what a lot of people think phlebotomy is always about. It's just strictly about the veins and about getting blood from the veins. Now, there are some people out there that may not know that you can also draw blood from the arteries as well. Venipuncture is normally for routine testing to check for certain things of the body. And when it comes to arterial blood draws these are literally for specific reasons that someone that the doctor will need to do an arterial blood draw so the both of them are very 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 different when it comes to drawing from vein a vein or drawing from an artery arterial punctures tend to most likely be done in critical care situations. There are many different reasons that a physician may order for an ABG or a nurse may order an ABG. These are normally sometimes in respiratory types of situations. Um, arter arterial uh, punctures is for like measuring blood, blood gases, pH levels, um, you know, monitoring your oxygen, many more. I will insert it here on exactly what arterial punctures actually measure for. So sites normally for where an arterial puncture will be performed will be your radial artery, which is normally here where the wrist is, your brachial artery right about here, whether it's the inside of the elbow, the antecubital fossa, and also the femoral artery, which is around the groin area. Those are normally the normal areas of where they will do an ABG puncture. But diving right into it, an arterial puncture is not normally sorted out just for routine lab work. So if you're going to your regular doctor just to get something checked or whatever, they will do venipuncture, which is going to be in your veins to figure out levels and things like that when it comes to testing. Like I said before, arterial punctures is for specialized procedures. Arterial punctures tend to be more painful than venal puncture because of the site locations. It's very sensitive. It can give you discomfort. Most of the time they will use a local anesthetic at the area that they're going to perform this arterial puncture. There's a higher risk for arterial spasms nerve damage and even higher risk of for hematomas because of how sensitive it is so the day old question goes do phlebotomists draw from arteries and the answer is yes and no so you guys may be wondering well what do you mean yes and no okay so when you're going through your phlebotomy courses okay you guys know that you get your nha exams or your pbt's or phlebotomy certification exams Things like this, you, we are normally not trained on arterial punctures in a regular standard 
venipuncture course. Phlebotomy is all about venipuncture and specimen collecting, handling, and things of that nature. Arterial blood gas, um, blood draws is really not the scope of our practice. Yes, can arterial punctures be similar to venipunctures? with the techniques of how to stick and needles that we are using and the tubes and you know the syringe and all of that stuff yes it seems like oh it's the same thing yes and no to draw from arteries you need to have specialized training in arterial blood gases puncture so this is normally like another little small course that you will do to be uh kind of i would i would say certified but more so like how to know how to do arterial blood uh uh blood punctures pretty much so yes it is something like you get a small certificate that gives you that you uh completed this course on how to do abgs it is more training for someone looking into doing abgs now in many states, we are not allowed to do arterial uh, punctures as a phlebotomist because it is not a part of our scope of practice. Most ABG punctures are normally done by RNs, LPNs, MAs with phlebotomy. Sometimes you have medical assistant programs that also call for them to be phlebotomists as well. And there you can learn how to do ABGs. They can be done by physicians themselves. And the biggest one, which is going to be a respiratory therapist. So obviously to be become an RT, you have to go through a RT program. And here you will learn how to perform ABGs. Because ABGs is a lot of it's being performed because of a respiratory type of um, something that's going on. RTs are very trained into how to do ABGs in their program. So this is not the same for phlebotomists. It used to be, I believe I did a couple, of, a little bit of my research and they said maybe 10 plus years ago, phlebotomists were, some may have been, have been trained on how to do arterial punctures, but that scope of practice has definitely changed in the last 10 years or more. And we no longer, our programs no longer, I guess you can say, teach us how to do artery punctures. Now, on the other hand, you guys all know that I was in nursing school. So in nursing school, obviously I said one of the uh, professions that can draw from the arteries is a nurse. So this is something that I did learn when I was in nursing school. You all know that I also had a nurse extern position when I worked at the hospital and there I've seen a lot of ABGs being performed. I had a lot of respiratory therapists, co-workers that I would literally sit and watch them perform these certain um, ABG. So now if you're working in a hospital, you may be able to learn how to perform ABGs or see how it's done because you may have a nurse or someone take you under their wing and show you the procedure. So that's the fun part about the hospital working in the hospital because there's a lot of networking and then you do see a lot of different things. But honestly, there is not really one a uh, job that I've worked at that a phlebotomist will just go to do an ABG to perform one. So normally, like I said, that is just something that is done by the nurses, a physician, an RT person, something like that of that nature. But you as a phlebotomist, they will not have ABG draws on your mobile phone for you to go and perform in the hospital unless like i said you had some type of specialized training and the hospital was aware of that and how most of the time a hospital if they do uh do abgs they may have certain courses and things for you to take to be certified in that and however so it just depends on what hospital you're working for and anything like that you can always ask you know maybe they have it on a bulletin board 
in the hospital somewhere hey if you want to learn how to go through abgs go to room so and so and however and then maybe you can just work your way up from there but on the phlebotomy aspect no we are technically not trained on how to do arterial punctures but it is not to say that we cannot get more specialized training if we don't look for these programs that offer abg uh, punctures and how to learn and things of that nature so i hope i didn't confuse anyone so if you're asking do phlebotomists draw from the arteries like is that a part of your scope of practice no the answer is no most of our nha programs cpt programs pbt PBT programs are not normally uh, in the curriculum to teach us how to do arterial. Now there is something I believe I did some research about California where they you have to have a CP2 two, CPT2 two license to practice um, performing ABGs. And I believe that is you get your CPT1 and then because you know California you have to be licensed to be a, a phlebotomist. So they have their state regulations for a phlebotomist to perform um, arterial blood glass, blood gas, keep I say glass, excuse me, arterial blood gas punctures. They have to possess a CP2, CPT2 license for them to be able to do the arterial puncture. So that's, I know, in the state of California. Obviously, you guys know, and there are many other states, you don't honestly have to be certified to be a phlebotomist to perform a vein puncture. But obviously, you know, uh, employers are a big nuisance sometimes when it comes to that because they want you to at least be certified for you to even get the job. So you guys know. But yes, as relating to the question as will you be doing arterial um blood glass oh my gosh if i say glass one more time abgs the answer is no thank goodness for the internet if you guys are interested in learning how to do abg punctures you can always put it in indeed or google and say um how to learn how to perform abgs like it'll give you locations and what you need whether it's online and things like that so you can always just kind of uh do your research and see if that's something that you may want to do but like i said in your phlebotomy career will you personally be the one drawing from an artery you may not be that is something like i said for more highly specialized um of other professionals healthcare professionals and things now like i said before if you're working in a hospital maybe even a critical care clinic or something like that you may have someone that take you under their wing and they are they're teaching you how to do so but you will never be thrown in there to be like hey you are phlebotomist go in there and draw from an artery no it's not it's not because that's not your scope of practice and things like that. If you are learning, you're probably learning under a healthcare professional. So somebody's going to be there to shadow you and make sure that you're doing it right. That's the fun part about working in the medical field because there's a big network of people. So you just never know. Obviously, people can fall through the loops, fall through the cracks and say like, oh, well, I was a phlebotomist and I drew from arteries. And it's like, well, yeah, you know, it just depends, you know, but you just wouldn't want to do that right off the riff like i said most of the times abgs are performed in a critical care setting so you just like i said you just never know there are people who you know may say hey i know a phlebotomist that draws from the arteries i mean i guess it just depends on their training i guess it depends on you know where they're working and however but just for it to be right off the riff no there's a lot of things that go with when it comes to abgs and like i said you just definitely have to be specially trained to be able to do so it is something it is a procedure that can be very dangerous like i said you can give nerve damage you can give an um arteries uh give a patient artery spasms and things like that so it is a very very high risk uh, procedures so like i said you obviously do want to be most specially trained before you actually been able to perform this type of puncture on a patient always never have anyone like if you're working for a hospital or even a critical care center or a clinic or anything like that you never go hey you're a phlebotomist you know how to draw draw from an artery 
let them know you're not specially trained you've never done that or anything never just you know take it one up and just go oh yeah i'm gonna go in there it should be the same like you know drawing from a vein and things like that because like i said it is a whole nother different high risk procedure versus vein of puncture always check your state's regulations um you know anytime you ever feel especially in the medical field if you ever feel can i do or can i not always look up and research things of your state's um regulations and things like that because you don't want to lose your certification you never want to lose a lot li your licensing if you ever got licensed and things like that you have to do things the legal way when it comes to working in the medical field know when things need specific training to perform safely and legally never be fearful to ask questions well for the company that you work for or the hospital that you work for you know and like i said you get used to networking if you're working in a hospital if you're working in the clinic network if it's something that you want to learn network you know hey can i watch you can i shadow you can i see how do you perform an abg you know if you're interested in this there are ways to go about this but i just really wanted to get on here to show to let you guys know about like you know the questions i was getting like hey i do phlebotomy do we draw from the arteries it's like we can but not like that you know what i mean so that's where the yes and the no came from. I really hope I kind of, you know, didn't make anyone more confused than what they already were. And I hope that I, I explained in a fashion that lets you guys understand. I'm just talking on the state that i am in obviously I, I live in a state where we do not have to be certified or licensed but obviously you know that we're dealing with the whole employers and they want you to be certified and things like that so it may work differently for your state or if you're in another country it may work on a whole nother level over there so it just depends if you have any questions or anything please put it down in the uh comment section down below i would truly appreciate that once again i want to say thank you to all you guys know my birthday just passed last week i'm a year older oh my god i'm getting old but thank you all i really truly appreciate all the love all the support and everything on my page always remember to check out my playlist if you guys want to binge watch any of my videos you guys know i made a new uh personal instagram so definitely check that out i really hope that this video was helpful everyone who is still coming into phlebotomy hello welcome i'm so happy i'm so happy i'm so happy that you guys are taking that step to start taking courses and things like that getting your certification i'm so happy and blessed to know that I am helping you all in some way. You got this is my motto. I believe in all of you. We need you. Please give this video a thumbs up. I would truly appreciate that. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye.